Your promise is not dead, but it's alive and about to take place. So check this out. So originally, I, when I preached the gospel for the first time, it was for my grandma's eulogy, she had died. Well, the text that I'd been given, part of it was from John 11, with the account of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead, right? And if you look to the account of that in John 11, it talks about this reality is Jesus addressing Mary and Martha, but specifically asking this question, do you believe after, you know, obviously describing who, who he is, I'm the resurrection and the life, and whoever believes in me will not die but live, right? Do you believe this? She says, yes, I do. So if you believe this, do you know where you're going to not only spend eternity today, because if you believe that Jesus is raised from the dead and that he died for your sins, you are saved, but also that he will bring that promise to life today. It's not dead, it's alive. And if you agree, say amen. Say